Okay, this is the game is on 100 here with a video, and this video is my review video of the Chicago Bears Houston Texans game. Let's get started. The Chicago Bears unfortunately lost this game to the Houston Texans 13 to set. Um, this was a very, very good game. Um, the Bears couldn't get nothing much on offense. Um, whenever we got something going in the first quarter on offense. We had uh, four turnovers in the first half. We had two pits by Cutler. And we had uh, two two fumbles that we lost as well. That can happen. Um, especially the Bears did get two turnovers. But when you normally lose, lose the turnover uh, battle, you normally would lose the game. Um, it came down to the end, but the Bears didn't muster enough to uh, come up with the W. Um, I would say that the key was the... The two forced fumbles that the Bears had. Uh, Kellen Davis, he had a secure on the ball and he fumbled it. Then Michael Bush on a Nets possession. Michael Bush uh, fumbled the ball. And uh, right now we're 7-2 and two and we got to look forward to the San Francisco 49ers next week. Um, San Francisco and the St. Louis Rams tied today. So hopefully I'm very, where well, I'm very optimistic about the Chicago Bears next week against the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, Jay Cutler went down with a concussion in this game. Um, I don't know what the severity of the of the injury. Well, they're going to probably evaluate him and see. Hopefully, he can go for Monday night's game in uh, in San Francisco. But if not, uh, Jason Campbell will fill in. He'll if he does get the start. Jason Campbell will have a full week of practice to prepare for the San Francisco 49ers. Um, Jason Campbell tonight did a okay job. He had his chances to get the get the ball downfield, but he didn't take the chances. Um, it was probably due with the fact that he didn't uh, get uh, that much practice. So I could see why they were uh, limited for what they did. But overall, uh, Jason Campbell was 11 and 19 with 94 yards. Uh, he had no touchdowns, no pits. Cutler was 7 of 14 for 40 yards, and he threw two interceptions. Uh, Matt Forte had 16 carries for 39 yards. Jay Cutler had three carries for 37. Uh, Michael Bush had three carries for 34, but he had that one fumble that would cost the Bears. Uh, Brandon Marshall was good again. He had eight catches for 107 yards. Other than that, just Brandon Marshall just basically caught all the passes tonight. Our offense was virtually non-existent with uh, Hester only had two catches for four yards. Matt Forte, two catches for a minus three yards. Earl Bennett had one catch for nine yards. So uh, offensively, we didn't do much. Uh, Defensively-wise for the Bears, we, we held... Matt Shaw, 14 of 20 sets for 95 yards. He did have that one touchdown, but he had two interceptions. Adrian Fossey had 29 carries, 102 yards. Uh, Forsett had four carries, 27 yards. Matt Shaw got set once. Jay Culler didn't get set, or Jason Campbell didn't get set, so that is good. The offensive line held up. They did their contain of J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt was virtually non-assistant this game. The Bears did a good job defending him. So basically, receiving-wise, there's nothing much for Houston. Um, Adrian Foster, five catches for 15 yards. Johnson had four catches for 35. Um, it's just that the, the turnovers the Bears cost was the two forced fumbles early. That was bad for the Bears to start off that way. It was probably due with the ball was wet and uh, the ball just slipped out of the hands. I know they were wearing gloves, but when the ball is wet, it does come out a little bit easier. So, overall, our defense did a, a solid job. They only gave up the one touchdown and only two field goals. They only gave up 13 points. That is still huge that the Bears gave up only 13 points. The Bears play good defense again. Um, they allowed only 95 yards passing, but they gave up. Well, they gave up only 127 yards on the run and 95 yards. That's not, that's less, that's around 200 something yards. 
that the Bears had. Um, so basically, the the Bears got over 100 yards rushing for a team. So that's basically, it's pretty much about the Bears got a little bit more yardage from the from that. But overall, all I gotta say is uh, this was a this was a good game. Um, Houston Texans really came to play today. Um, they really wanted to win this game. Um, when you normally will lose a turnover battle, normally would lose a game. Um, the Bears didn't uh, come up with the win this week. Um, we got to shake it off and prepare for the San Francisco 49ers, and hopefully we can get the win next week. But I give my props to the Houston Texans. You guys played a, a good game. You guys' defense was good as well. No question about that. It was just two good D2. Good defense is going at it in a bad weather game. You can't expect any more or anything else to be a good football game. And this was a good football game. And I wouldn't be surprised if they would even, if they would match up in the Super Bowl. If it happens, it's going to probably be another good game between them. So we'll see what happens. But this is our second loss of the season. So we take for what it is. Um, we have to prepare next week for San Francisco 49ers. Hopefully we can go, come up on the winning end. So this is the Game is on 100. I am out. Later.